What's up, you fuckers? Okay, so let's get let's get straight to it. <clears throat> let's get down to business. Okay, so a lot of you guys on Instagram, you guys be asking me stuff like, um, what do I need to get started in diving and stuff like that? And I be asking you that too. I'm saying. Okay, let me just ask Sorry, you something real quick. I told myself too, just don't talk. Just don't no, 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 let me talk. Anything. I like when you talk. But <laughs> just make sure I finish my goddamn sentence first. So okay, yeah. okay, so what? So, when so like, say you have a question. Okay, so I gotta do Okay, I got, it, I got you. Don't do that. <laughs> What's up, you fuckers? Okay, so. So let's get straight to it. So a lot of guys been asking me like um, how to get started in diving and all that. How to get started in spearfishing. Like they want to dive, you guys want to spearfish, but you guys don't know where to start. I've been trying to reply to as much people as I can, but it's getting to a point where it's getting kind of hard flex on them one time. Uh, yeah. But um, so I just make this video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make this video right here so that uh, you can hopefully, I'm hoping that will just answer the question. So let's just get straight to it. Yeah. Oh, this bag cherry, huh? Sweet cherry bomb, bomb, when you gonna come? I would like to call you up so you can give me some. Okay, so the first thing you need to dive, the absolute most important thing, because actuality, you don't need much to dive to catch fish, right? But the one thing you absolutely need is a dive mask. So, okay. So let me explain something about the dive mask, right? When you go and get yourself a dive mask, make sure you go into the shop i know some people want to order online and all that but mm -hmm. the thing is like each mask is shaped differently and everybody's face is shaped differently so it's like some masks won't fit you that good so like there's this one mask i bought one time and there was the gopro mount on the top and i was thinking like oh bet gopro mount on the top that's perfect for what i need i'm just gonna buy it without really trying it on good right long story short i just couldn't it, it just kept leaking, right? And I just had to get rid of it. You just gotta find which mask fits your face. Now this is what you can do. When you go into the shop, all you're gonna do is, you're gonna grab the mask, flip flip over the, um, the strap. You just put it against your face and you just suck it into your nose. Simple like that. You see how it's not gonna fall? Like even if, if you go down like that too? Oh, okay, okay, I see that. It's really nice and tight on my face. All right. Make sure, yeah, make sure that you get the fish lips and sucking into your nose. <laughs> make sure you go in and find one that fits your face. That's the most important thing. I cannot stress that enough because the last thing you want is like your mask leaking. When you're out in the water and stuff, right. a leaky mask is so irritating. You know what I mean? It can ruin a whole dive. Constantly got to come up, boom, leak them out, like get rid of the leaks and all that. Right, right. It's irritating. Okay. Uh, as for what colored lens, there's different color lens. I've used like... Um, like this color lens, you know, you see that? Uh, these blue ones, I even had dark blue ones, amber ones, and um, they look sick. I really like how they look, you know what I mean? But for me, I don't like tinted lens because uh, a lot of times I'll be walking into the water, right? And as I'm walking, I'm trying to like watch my step because all the vana and stuff like that. And um, I, I find for me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, when I'm wearing like the, the, the lens that the colored tint. ones it's right. kind of dark uh on some days if it's a nice sunny day then bet but a lot of days if it's like dark or whatever if it's right, cloudy right. and i have my tinted lens i can't really see where i'm stepping that good sometimes i'm timing the waves when the waves is coming i want to hair up and jump in i'm trying to time the waves it's just, it's just for me i don't know it's just i'd rather have clear lens so i can see clearly i can see clearly now the rain is gone okay. that's what i'd rather have you know what i mean i just like clear lens Okay, I, that took longer than expected. I'll try to speed it up, you know what I mean? I talk too much. Talking too much. Alright, this is okay. informational right here. The next thing you need is a snorkel. But this one right here is like, I think 20 bucks, I think. 20? Uh, uh, no, less than that, I think. Damn. That's less. Because you said 20, it kind of <laughs> threw me off. So, no, no, keep, keep, keep it in there, keep it in there. So, yeah, 10. Oh, where's 10, the phone? Yeah, the phone, where's my phone? Uh, C Sports. Yeah, we're doing this snorkel. Right this, this guy put C Sports. C! <laughs> C! Like the ocean sea. What do you think? <laughs> Twenty dollars. I was right. Okay. Okay. So one of these snorkels is like twenty bucks um, at the dive shop. You know what I mean? Twenty bucks can't go wrong. It's a J snorkel. There's no purge valve at the at the bottom. This is the best. What honestly. Is a, what is a my bad, but What is a purge, purge valve? I'll show you. I'm glad you asked. You. This one right here. Can we go look it up real quick? Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Down. Yeah, that's fucking fifty. Yeah. It's no fucking yeah, yeah, way. Stupid. I got okay. the twenty dollars one. Was exactly. expensive. That is retarded. Okay. So there's snorkels like these, right? At the bottom, if you look, they're purge valves. Meaning, when you go down and you're diving, 
the water is going to fill up into the snorkel and then when you come up it's going to be filled mm -hmm. with water you have to blow the water out right so with a j snorkel you have to blow all the water from the bottom uh, all the way out right, on right, its own right. it takes a little bit more oomph, I was gonna you know say, what i mean you just gotta build <laughs> but with the purge valves it you can just blow lightly and it comes out through the bottoms oh i didn't know that yeah wow. yeah i'll just give them the oomph, you know what i'm saying oh, what would you give them the oomph, you know? oh <laughs> <laughs> so boom this one is a, it comes out easy wow this thing costs 55 dollars is it worth it hell no yeah. 20 dollars you can't go wrong do those not. are better too like, even if you got the money do not, it, right. I, right. even right. if you got 55 dollars to spend it is don't. not worth it in my humble opinion i don't think so i think that's so stupid i i, I just when i'm using it, i just don't find it it's not there's not a, a 54 or 55 dollar right, wow right. factor for me right right exactly get your 20 dollar circle okay sorry i'll speed it up talk too much talk too much okay uh what's next next is gloves get you a pair of gloves i really like these picasso ones these ones the ones that go around your wrist i really like it see that i like how it goes tight around the wrist right, i like that right. i like that I go through gloves really quickly, especially the left side, because that's what I yank with. Because <coughs> that's what I call the fish with. So I scratch the reef, right? And you see how the fingertips mm. come out? Right. The gloves is really beneficial because it's like, you need this to grab stuff. It's, it's like you're grabbing the reef. You Sometimes there's Vaughn on the reef. Right, there's sea right. urchins. There's like, it's spiny. It's pokey down there. Right, it's definitely. like, and then especially with the fish, when you shoot fish, the fish's spines and stuff, it's really pokey. You can't even like cut yourself. It hurts. You right. know what I mean? Like especially Definitely. even with like the palanis and right, stuff. Like right. they got the barbs on the exactly. back of their tails mm -hmm. and the spikes on the top. Like I don't even know the names of the right. you know. It's dorsal fins. It. <laughs> yeah, <don't> know. it's <laughs> pectoral <laughs> fin. I don't know. I don't know the names of fins. But their fins. Period. Like it, it right. pokes. And when you're trying to kill the fish while it's squirming and stuff, and trying to take them from their, their <laughs> home, they'll squirm. They'll move. And they'll. A lot of times when I wasn't using gloves, it'll cut my hand and it hurts. Especially like the pelu collars. Certain fish, like they're when you get poked by the spines, it hurts really bad. So Damn. the pelu collars, when I get poked by them, yeah. sometimes it goes even through the gloves. It's like, when I get poked by them, it hurts. That's I'm talking about like, oh, like, it's like it must have poison or something in Maybe, this. Maybe I, I don't I know what it is, that. but it really hurts. Gloves, uh, super necessary. Right. Okay. Okay, so here's some footage of my cousin of what had happened um, a while back when he didn't use gloves while spearfishing. So the wishbone from his bands ended up slipping off the shaft and it ended up hitting his finger and you can see it, it took off some skin um so it's very important to use gloves to protect your hands and if he was using like the metal wishbone some spear guns the bands have wet metal wishbones it would have been even worse than that so use gloves guys okay so next thing is a stringer this is where you want to put your fish on once you shoot the fish kill the fish you want to put it through the gills what out the mouth but and then hey, you that through the gills out the, the gills out the mouth okay, that gotcha. boom and this carries all your fish you know what i mean you want to put this on your floater on your buoy i'm going to get into that later that's what i was going to ask too if you don't have like a, if they don't have a floater and stuff is there somewhere they can attach that on so uh, people put this on their weight belt, weight belt. I, that's i don't recommend it though okay okay you know what i mean i'm paranoid i'm paranoid <laughs> right, right, you know I mean? right right maybe <laughs> i'm just paranoid okay so you know uncle always got to come with the examples here's an example as to why i'm paranoid about using the stringer around your weight belt see right there my friend braxton he got caught on the reef as he was trying to come up the reef caught onto his uh, stringer. I go to swim down to help him, but but boom, right there, he throws a shocker, he's all good. He's a little more experienced, so he handled that situation um, really well, but a beginner might not be able to handle that situation well. So, do not wear the stringer on your weight belt. Why it scary like that? Fuck I'd rather have it on the buoy. The point of the buoy, is you have your line and all that you have your catch um far away from you if anything you know what i mean right. sharks come seals come it's not on you it's not on mm -hmm. your body that being said a lot of people i know they put it on their body but they're they're good at diving they know how to like fight off sharks and all right, that right right but if you're, this is for people starting off right, right. put your fish on the stringer put the stringer on your float okay so that's the uh stringer stringer yeah what's next next is wet soup <laughs> wet soup baby okay so necessity is it wetsuit definitely i recommend wetsuits uh you don't you don't need need a wetsuit if you're just starting off if you're just starting off you're diving shallow and all that you don't need it you can just get like a long sleeve right. just cover your body get a long i, I don't or something um right. even i've 
even like a long sleeve long cotton sleeve. shirt you know what i mean just cover your body if you're starting off this is if you're starting off you don't have the money for wetsuits wetsuits can be pretty expensive right. but when you do get that money when you do find out that oh i do like diving diving is something i want to take further to the next level make sure you pick you up some uh a really good wetsuit venture wetsuits is the one that i like using money i use these all the time they're really good yeah and i like how they look you know what i mean they look really they have really sick prints and um they keep you it keep me really warm keep right. me warm keep me protected you know what i mean um one of the things too that keeps you protected from is when you're diving you don't really realize that you're even though you're in the water you still the sun is still beaming through the, right, um, the right. you're swimming at the top mm -hmm. of the water the sun is still beaming it'll cook it'll cook you right up right, like there's right. times i was out there I came out of the water all lobster. My oh, back burn. was all right, red, right. and I didn't realize right. it because I didn't really. Feel you're in it. the water too. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not gonna think you you're get not burned. thinking you're getting burned. But right, when you're out right. there for hours, I was just right. all excited seeing all the fish mm -hmm. and all that. I was like, Whoa! and then next thing <laughs> you know, I'm all burnt. Um, so this protects you from the sun, right. protects you from the reef, protects you from like the urchins, the, mm -hmm. the the just anything. You know what I mean? Protects you from the fish. You grab the fish, you're trying to like, wrestle with them. You know right, what I mean? Right. Trying to wrestle that fish. It's gonna be like scraping all against you. Wetsuits is the one. I like open cells. Uh, yeah, open cell wetsuit. So the open cell wetsuit, it sticks to your skin more. It, oh, it, right, right, right. It sticks to your skin. It's a different material from closed cell. It's like a suction type, It's right? suction, yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Um, and in order to get into a uh, open cell, you need some kind of conditioner. Lubricant. Lubricant. <laughs> Any conditioner is good. Any, just go to the store and just buy the cheapest one. I think right. VO5 is like one of the cheapest right, ones. Right. Mm -hmm. Cheapest one you can get. Um, what I do is when I'm when I'm about to dive, right? That's how I do it. Boom, phone. pop them open. Okay. I just squirt, 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 pop, 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 pop. Right? Mm -hmm. Then I grab the bottoms, squeeze it. Right? Grab this with one hand. See how it is? See that? Mm -hmm. Grab my gallon water. What I use. I fill it up with water a little bit. Bop, 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 bop. All bloop, the water's bloop, gonna bloop. start sinking, getting a little bit heavy. Bop, 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 bop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Boom, I put it down, I grab both sides, and I just. There you go. And then before I let off all that soapy water, I open up the bottom and I squirt all over myself. Uh, I'm like, ah. yourself up. Yeah, I loop myself mm, up. Mm, ah. nice Boom, smart, I get myself smart, all smart. slippery, and then I put it on, okay? Right. Like I said, any conditioner works. Okay, so the next thing dive knife okay you really need a dive knife um it's good for, it's good it's good for safety you know what i mean um it's good to kill the fish if you have the fish you got to kill the fish as soon as you get them you know what i mean but it doesn't really matter what what dive knife you know what i mean sometimes it can get pretty expensive just get any knife get the cheapest one you know what i mean and i like the ones that um i don't have the strap right now but the, usually there's a strap put it right like putting it on my arm right here you know what i mean whenever i need it easy use i just put one time um sometimes it's beneficial like uh Sometimes I seen turtles all wrapped up, right. all in the uh, fishing line and stuff. Some, yeah, just go out there, grab the knife, bop, 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 take it off, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes there's lead or whatever stock you just cut it. It's like super beneficial. It's a knife You know what I mean? Right, right. It's say you go and you shoot a fish and your shaft is out of your gun You at least you know you still have your knife on you right, if anything right. was to come up to you You know what right. I mean? If something was trying to test you, you know what I mean? You just pull out the you knife. Bah, what was that? What was that? Phone check bah, bah, bah. Okay. You don't need a dive knife Okay. Don't need um, it, but very beneficial, right? No, no, I'm gonna say you need a knife, but it doesn't have to be a dive oh, knife. Oh, I got you. If you can't afford it, okay? If if you got to, go to Walmart or whatever and get you a, a flip pocket knife. That's mm -hmm. what I use. There's times when I didn't have my dive knife, right? So I just went to Walmart and I just got like a pocket knife that flips mm -hmm. open. And I grabbed the, the knife and I just put it right here in the pocket. You know what I mean? It's better, it's better to have it on you, on your arm. It's quicker, blah, blah, blah. But if you don't have mm -hmm. one, put it right in the pocket and you're all good, you know what I mean? Uh, toothpaste. I use this for my mask, you know what I mean? A lot of times when you first buy your mask, it's gonna be foggy when you first get it. So you wanna use like toothpaste and stuff, clean it out, scrub it real good. There's all kinds of methods of, 
uh, preventing your mask from fogging just go on YouTube search it up you know what I mean how to defog your mask they got like the lighter tricks they use baby shampoo there's a bunch of things right I'm not gonna really get into that I'm just showing you what I have in my bag I use toothpaste and um I use baby shampoo too but uh, I don't have it on me right now cuz I got it on me I ain't got it on me so next thing is uh, the fins so these are medium carbon fins right I never tried like the um, dive R blades and all that. Those look sick. Those are bigger than this, longer than this. Mm -hmm. My friends had them and when I was diving with my friends, they were gone. Damn. Like, I, they left me in the dust. Wow, I didn't even know. Leave them in the dirt. These, and you had these Put already? them in the dirt. Hey. Uh, you uh, had I had these. Done? Yeah, I had oh, these. They even upgraded more than that. Unless they just had their legs was just, I got little chicken legs. <laughs> Maybe they just got a bigger engine in their legs. <laughs> but they, yeah, so. I never tried it, but I did start off with plastic fins. I even started off with short little scuba fins. Then I upgraded to hammerhead uh, plastic fins and just upgrading from a short fin to a long fin is like this huge difference. You know what I mean? You can, you can get to where you need to go faster. You can fight against current faster. You can drop to the bottom faster. Long fins are very beneficial, but you don't need the carbons. Get you the plastics. Go on, go on offer up, go on Craigslist, go on uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace. Go find something. So I'm just trying to help you guys who just started. Like, See if this is what you like doing, you know what I mean? Without breaking the bank, without spending all your money, without, you right, know what I mean? Right. Ending up on the streets homeless because you want to spend fucking all your money on, on carbon, <laughs> carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber <laughs> right. But these carbons, I love these carbons. I know one of the reasons why I really like them too is like they're super light. So... Even when I'm, I'm carrying the gear, right? Sometimes I'll go out and carry uh, my broadest plastic fins and all that. You can feel the weight difference. Definitely. And when you're carrying all kinds of stuff, you got all the gear on you, or even when you get out of the water and there's a bunch of fish, you're carrying a bunch of fish, you already have a heavy load diggity on you. <laughs> and it's like, you need something nice and light. So even right. like out of the water, I love the carbons because they're so light, you know what I mean? So yeah, so that's what, that's, uh, so that's that, that's fin. Okay, so the next thing I, you need is a weight belt okay weight belt helps you keep yourself at the bottom when you're diving you know what i mean especially when you're wearing like these wetsuits and stuff when you're wearing like the wetsuits it's really buoyant okay right, right. so like one time <laughs> okay okay <laughs> you heard your first i know i have like <laughs> so one time i was diving right i wanted to test out my gun i was building me a roller and um i went to dive and it was funny because I went to do a duck dive, I went to swim, and I wasn't moving anywhere. I was kicking and I was staying in the same place. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I was kind of tripping and I was like, ah, I forgot my weight belt. Like I can't, there's a couple times I actually forgot my weight belt and I'm out in the water and I wouldn't be able to even sink. Right. This uh, three millimeter wetsuit is real buoyant. You know what I mean? And you're gonna spend all that time trying to get down. And once you're at the bottom, not having any weight on you, it'll pull you up right, so it's like right. you're gonna be trying to hold on to the reef and all that and it's gonna try and pull you up mm -hmm. now you can get away with not using a weight belt if you're not using a wetsuit so if you're going in just surf mm -hmm. shorts or whatever um you can go in without a weight belt if you watch my last video you've seen I, I did it you don't need a weight belt get you any get you any weight belt that has this clip at the end i really like see this clip like this mm -hmm. it's for quick release you know how us boys we need a quick release <laughs> you know that What's the other one? So the other one is like usually like a belt. It's like a belt. There's another one where it goes in like this and there's holes in it mm. and there's a thing that, go, you know what I mean? Like a belt, it goes through the hole. I don't like down because you have to pull it this way, pull the, the, the little shaft off right. and then go out. But these right here, the boom, if it's on you and you gotta get rid of it, you just pull this right up, boom, comes off. So why would you need to get why would you right. need to get rid of your, what I was gonna ask. Right, why right. would you have to get rid of this if you're wearing it? Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, one time I was diving, right? And I had a it was a shitty dive line, okay? And I was diving I used to before, this is what I used to do before. I used to dive with my line attached to the end of my gun onto my float. You know what I mean? So I was diving and while I was diving I was at the bottom and the current and the, the line that I was using, like it was heavy, right? Right, right? So I was at the bottom without me noticing, it kind of wrapped up on my belt. Wow. No then when way. I went to swim up, it was caught on my belt, and then the other end was caught on the reef, and I kind of panicked. No I was like, oh, oh, so I tried to hurry up and pull my belt down, thinking I could just slip it off, right, but it was right. stuck on my hips. Right. And it couldn't come off, 
And um, I was kind of like, oh, I have to calm myself down, mm -hmm. see what's going on. Jeez. But by that time, it, it, it got off of the belt. Right. But what I told myself was from then on to really be aware of where my um, weight belt clip is. You know right, what I mean? Right. Sometimes when you're diving, it's on your body, right? Sometimes when you're diving, it kind of like, it shifts all over the place. It'll right. move side to side. Right, right. And sometimes if it's not tight, it'll be on the side and you don't know where it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You should always keep this clip in the front and if anything happens, like how I said, the line gets stuck on your bit, your belt or whatever it is, you can just lift it, boom, let it go. So that's why I recommend the clip right there. It's one easy pull. Or if you're diving like super deep, you're trying to get to the surface, you're kind of heavy, you gotta hurry up and get up in time, you just open up the clip and shoot straight up, you know? Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming um, from so far. That was the weight belt. Okay, so. Okay, so we want to get you a dive float. Um, I don't have my flag right now. Hi, this guy. How are you supposed to see you, us boat guys? You like us run you over? One. Where's your flag, boy? You let me tell Dylan and all. Come over here. Nah, no, but um, my flag, I uh, have it somewhere. But um, anyway, do you want to get yourself a float? All right. This is where you carry all your fish. Where the stringer went? Right out. This is the stringer, right? You're gonna go like this. This is what I like about the floats too. You see all these little clips that it, you can add on all your clips. You can, I added all these on myself. You know what I mean? It's like you can add on a bunch of clips and some clips I'd use to put my keys on cause I don't like hiding my keys. You know how when you're about to dive and all that and you're trying to like find a spot to hide the keys but like everybody <laughs> looking and all that. You know what I mean? Trying not to make them obvious. Trying not to make, make it obvious. So it's like, ah, I'll just bring it with me. I'll hook it onto uh, one of these clips. Also, you can put your tree prong on the clips. Um, sometimes I have my rubber snap before and I didn't want to like get rid of it. So I'll just go and tie it on one of these clips. Um, so yeah, you can just put a lot of stuff on the buoy. Also, it's for your, like I said, it's for your fish. Here's the stringer. You put it on the end, right? It's your kui, not stringer. Okay, yeah, the kui. So boom, you put the fish on the kui and then I like to slide the top on here. So now all the fish is hanging right up. Mm, okay. You know what I mean? This float, um, I actually got this float from the swap meet and I think the guy wanted like maybe like uh, 60 bucks or whatever but I got it down to like 40. Oh, <laughs> you're not talking down, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, but, 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 <laughs> but, um, but yeah, and, and it works well, you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to tell you guys, like, just go find new shit. You don't gotta buy shit brand new, you know what I mean? Right, you're on bomb, man! You're on bomb! You're on bomb, you're like, such a bomb! <laughs> your money right boy <laughs> get, your, get your bread off dog <laughs> take that bag dog yeah it, it works well for me and i got it for 40 bucks but beneficial and another thing that is good is if you're tired out there you battling current or this time the third you just swim up to your buoy pull your line boom mm. quick little rest <sighs> don't leave me jack rest <laughs> don't leave me jack i'm just groovy And boom, sometimes you sit on them, huh? Oh, gosh, watch out, watch out. Oh, sit on them, check around, <laughs> be like the surfers, <laughs> bop, bop, you know, be cruising. Come on, we're we getting one, we're we getting one. Yeah, very beneficial. Another important reason for the float and the flag and probably the most important reason is it lets people know that there's a diver in the water. So if there's like boats or jet skis or anything in, anything in the water, they know that there's a diver nearby. So it tells them they have to be careful where they're driving. Another reason is say you're out with your partner and you guys separate. Sometimes you lose your partner. You can't see where they're at. You can't find them. It's easier to find a buoy in the water with a flag than it is to look for someone's snorkel or, or look for someone's fins every time they drop. So the float is very important for that reason. This is my first buoy. Okay. okay. This is my first buoy. And this is what I was using for a long time before I found um Get on my YouTube channel now. This right here. Okay? Look at that spider on here, it's been that long. Oh, <laughs> collecting dust. <laughs> okay, and this is the line. Oh, sand all on the line, all on the floor. Oh, nice. Oh, my cheek, come on. Rice it, you fucker. <laughs> you gonna get it. Uh, fuck, I sand if you out. <sighs> I need one break. <laughs> I need one break. Freedom, free. I need to be free. Oh, this, we gotta talk. So this is the, the line that wraps to the float that I just showed you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is, uh, I think it's a Rob Allen. This is another cheap line, right? 
I actually tried like the more expensive ones, like those tubes. They're nice and all that, but I don't really like them because it's kind of heavy underwater. So it's like when you got your flow, right? Those heavier lines, they come like say I'm over here diving. Mm -hmm. It comes like down like that at a at, at like oh, wow. a like a diagonal right. because of the weight and all that. And sometimes when your the current is ripping, the bottom of the line gets tangled all on the reef. Damn. You know what I mean? But with this one, it's so light. That's why it's cheap, but I love this line mm -hmm. because it's so light that it will never go down like this. It's always at the top of the water and it's straight oh, down. Right, right. It's always, if I'm diving here, the line is gonna go straight up and then it's straight down. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, there's no right, diagonal. The weight and stuff, right? There's, since it's super light, it it's always super be light. It's at always the top, at the top, right. Right. which I like because it never gets caught, you know what I mean? Last thing is the spear gun. So this is my spear gun right there. It's a wooden cap. I love this gun right there, honestly. I really love this gun. Um, if this video blows up, <laughs> please better. Feed me. Feed me some. Feed me some dive, dive guns, please. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so you need yourself a, a dive gun, right? If you're just starting off, what size should you get? A lot of people ask me, what size should you get? What size should you get? Mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you, the smaller size, the better. This right here is a hundred. It's perfect. I love this size. I love the size hundred. The bigger guns, they do have the range, but when you're starting off, you're not gonna really need the range. You don't wanna take pointless shots. You don't wanna be sh like aiming at fish that's far away, shooting them, hoping you'll hit them, and like hitting them in the wrong spots to where they kinda like, they you barely hit them, they rip off, they're just gonna die somewhere, you know what I mean? The point of when you first start diving is, you 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 want to practice hunting the fish you know what i mean you want to mm. practice stalking you want to practice holding your bread you want to practice right. the aiming you want to practice hiding from them and all that and when you first start diving you're gonna go after easy fish you know what i mean now if you're gonna shoot easy fish you don't need the you don't need the range a lot of times easy fish they'll come right up to you when you're first starting off that's the fish you're gonna shoot you're not gonna go for uhus you're not gonna go for ukus you're not gonna go for moose those is like it's too hard for a beginner to catch. So you're gonna catch beginner fish. Now you don't wanna try and catch beginner fish with like an overpowered, oversized, mm. overkill, you know what I mean, right, right. gun. You don't need a 120, a mm. 130. It's, it's, it's so long when you're under the water, right? The guns that are super long, it's hard to move side to side. So when a fish is moving mm. around, it's hard to move it. You know what I mean? That's one. Two is, the shorter guns, it's so easy to reload. You know what I mean? Mm, right, like, right. From here, while I'm swimming, sorry, I don't know if you can see. I can just put this on my chest and grab and load. The bigger guns, you're not gonna be able to reach it. So you have to go grab the bands, push it forward, put it on your chest and right. then load it. Right, right. And then if it's like, if you shoot a fish and you miss and you wanna hurry up and, and reload your gun, Bigger guns take longer to load, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a bigger gun, the bands is harder to pull, you know what I mean? Because it's it's uh, it's a longer travel. Right. It's just more, sh um, in my opinion, it's more hassle to load a longer, bigger gun. So if you're a beginner, I recommend 100 at the, at the, at the biggest. 100 gotta be the biggest. I start off with a Hammerhead uh, Proteus, a 75, it was a whole gun. I didn't know what a whole gun was, I didn't, you know what I mean? I was using it just for a regular gun. Uh -huh. I learned with that, I learned how to stock fish, I learned how to shoot it. When I was shooting fish, the range is, is short on it. So I was thinking like, oh, how am I gonna do this? You know what I mean, right, I can't right. catch fish. But that's all that was given to me. When I first mm -hmm. started diving, my cousin Pat gave me a gun that was broken. I took it into the shop, got it fixed, and it was a small 75 Proteus. And I learned on that. Once I started shooting fish with that, then I upgraded. But that's what I started shooting fish with. I even shot a uh, my first uh, papillos with it. I got two pretty good sized papillos nice. with it, with the 75. You know, it doesn't have to be big at all. The short guns also, when you start off with that, will help you to learn how to hunt as well, right? Like, that's what the short gun right. will do. Because when you have a short gun, you, you don't have closer, that range. Right? You have right. to get close to the right. fish. It's gonna teach you how to stalk the fish, you know what right, I mean? Right. Opposed to having a long gun. And right, it's and, right. and if you're just starting off, you might get frustrated loading your gun. Loading your gun becomes a hassle when it's so Definitely. big. You know what I mean? It's it's big. It takes long to load. It takes long to wrap it. It right. takes. It's harder to move. It's the bigger guns is not as as fun as a shorter gun. Mm -hmm. So you might think like ah diving's not for me. When in actuality, you just you have a too big of a gun. Like you right. shouldn't be using a 130, 120. Starting off. Starting right. off and in the reefs. Even with him, he's using a 110 and I'm mm -hmm. telling him like, I think you should probably start off with a 90. Right. Cause like, Definitely. he's shooting at knives and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. knives or maninis Manini, and all that. Yeah. Like fish, uh, easier fish 
with like a 110 that's like overkill you know what i mean like i have a lot of footage of me shooting with my little uh 65 gun those guns is fun the shorter the gun the more maneuverability if that's a word it's right, like right. you can move it move it boom 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 it's the short guns those is those are the ones you know what i mean yeah, so for definitely. me because uh, even when um i was using the 110s like sometimes it'll take me like 10 20 minutes just to try and load it back up because i didn't even really know how to load it and it's then to pulling it in and you know what i mean getting it all started like wasted a lot of time like just getting that right. loaded to shoot another fish you know so yeah definitely i should have start with a smaller gun so i recommend anybody starting diving to start off with a, a, a smaller gun try it get good at it and then you can always upgrade later you can always right. sell your gun too you can sell the small gun that you have and then try and upgrade and, and get a bigger one so for me i start off with a 75 proteus from there i went to a 90 uh, hammerhead evolution uh, and then I started going up from there, you know what I mean? I, I tried a bunch of different guns like 110, 120s, 130 even. Like, um, 130 is not good for reef. Um, oh, that's more like not for reef, that's deep way too big. Deep blue. Yeah, that's for right, like blue, right. blue water. Yeah. Blue water, blue water, blue water, blue water deep, blue. deep blue. Deep blue. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try to like a new <laughs> slang. Deep blue. So, yeah, get you a gun. If you cannot afford you a gun, just get your three prong. You know what I mean? Get your right, three prong right. and start off with that. But, yeah, but if not, just go ahead, look on Craigslist, look on Facebook, look on Offer Up. I got this this gun on um what was Facebook got a pretty good deal on it. I just went, fixed it up, cleaned it up. It's probably one of my favorite guns. I really love this gun. I love how light it is on the water. I love how fast I can reload it. I love the size of it. I'm so I'm learning that the hundred is like everybody's different, but hundred is like the perfect size for me. You know what I mean? Even when I had my Rob Allen hundred, I noticed that was the one that I shot a lot of fish with. That was the one that I was comfortable with. It's the hundred. That's what I really like you know what i mean i don't take far pointless shots i i make sure that i know for sure almost guaranteed like i'm gonna hit the fish that's how i dive you know what i mean okay so if anybody if, if any of you guys have any questions just leave me a comment or hit me up on instagram uh, i try to explain as best as i could and like i said before if you guys want to start diving don't worry about getting the best gun the best right, right. the best fins the, oh, i gotta get the carbons i got sometimes i have that problem oh, before i had that problem a lot like i knew i was gonna start diving then i start like getting too deep into it i start doing a lot of research i start looking at what everybody else is using and i'm thinking like oh i need this wetsuit or i need this gun or i need this fans or i need when in actuality like when i just went in and would practice i was going in with like an old wetsuit my cousin gave me and it was it was so thin there was holes in it i would be freezing in it uh, you know what i mean right, like right. it was all it didn't have a headpiece it was all like pukas everywhere mm -hmm. um you know what i mean i used the short fins i just whatever i had i used and um after a while when i was diving i was like you know what i really enjoy diving so right. i save and i go upgrade your stuff upgrade your wetsuit and then once you upgrade your wetsuit or you upgrade your gear you start you start valuing the uh, right, the right. more expensive gear you when you put on a a, a a quality wetsuit like this you're like oh wow this really makes a difference from what i was used to you know what i mean when you upgrade to quality like carbon fiber fins you're like oh wow i can really see the difference you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's good start off with what you can and just and just get out there you know what i mean right. get out there start diving dive safe that's the most important thing but just get out there and practice all right practice practice that's about it huh yeah that's about it that's, that's about it, it from that's uncle really. roy See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Love you fuckers. Can't see you on the next one. Love you fuckers. Whoop. Do absolutely need is a dive mask. Because uh <laughs> 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 <laughs>